Alright guys, uh, basically I'm gonna go over Terra as a basic guide. I don't make this quick and do this a bit fast. You know, I, I'm sure you guys have better things to do. Sally gameplay videos, I have one but I kind of fit. Because Pompon was there, Weekend, but whatever, let's skip into that. She's a mage. And kind of like what's been happening with Smite, the, the design has been no dashes or too much movement. So she feels kind of like Baron. She will constantly throwing abilities at you. She has really low cooldowns. If you build cooldowns, of course. And she has to be tanky, so her shield is effective. And you can spawn Argus real fast. Also, uh, I talked to Pon Pon. Uh, he told... I asked about the cooldown thing that I made the video about earlier. And it seems that it's going to be nerfed. I mean, no, no special damage or proc damage. Or what's supposed to be calculated into the passive. Which the passive is, each time Hera deals damage, where Argus is inactive, gives you one second of cooldown. And, you know, Mage's Blessing damage would count, so you would get up to six seconds of six seconds of cooldown if you had Mage's Blessing, Soul Weaver, was your first ability. So it was crazy. You would have Argus all the time. And if it's, if it's active, he will heal for 120 at max level, which would constantly be giving him health, which was pretty strong. Thankfully, he doesn't scale magical defense. He only scales a little bit of physical defense, which is understandable because he has 3000 health late game. And it's a bit hard to burn through a guy with protections, especially because protections gives you percentage and it scales really high to if you have like 30 magical protection that's i think 30 20 percent something around those parts I, don't, I haven't done the math correctly he has 600 health each level so you should really max it he has 440 speed at first level which is faster than anybody with boots and sm mercury maybe and it scales as well the speed so it's really hard to run away from it especially with divine shroud on because it gives me a 50 percent speed so you have to either you either dash through a wall, jump over a wall, or you fight him. That's your only options. Because he will run at you real fast. Actually I could probably show that right now. I think it's important. An item fit for royalty. Alright, let's see. If I tell him to back off and go after that person and I speed him up, he'll probably not be able to follow up. He does his thing. Now anyways, let me build the stupid crazy build that gives you infinite cooldown. This build is definitely gonna change because Pompon said he was gonna go ahead and look into that because that this that was not intended. Either way, her first ability that is passive is Royal Assault. Basically, it's kind of like the Scorpius 2. It's, hard, it's a bit hard to hit for me, personally. Because it's not like a line ability. You have to actually calculate where the enemies are going to be. But it's a good clear option because the first flip in front of you actually throws the minions where the flip, where the attack is going to go. Now, it is dangerous to move up so close into the minion wave that you have to hit the minions. That puts you in a bad position. You are a mage. You are squishy. You don't have a dash. So if you actually w walk up to this and they have a competent jungler, you will get ganked. So you always have to consider your position if you want to clear the wave with that, with the Royal Assault. That's a, uh, that's one of our issues, positioning. But if you have Argus up, I'm sure you can distract them with it. They cannot ignore Argus. His scaling is crazy and he will kick your ass. Also, Royal Assault hits three times. Possibly the first is The bonus damage if you get to hit somebody with the bonus damage Actually, let me go ahead and put Argus so you can see something If I hit him for example There's two damages. There's the bonus damage. It's twice as you can see here f Four times that's four times which basically means four seconds of cooldown currently if you get nerfed which you probably will It'll be a little bit different. We'll have to adapt to that. But if I hit it with the, the closest range, that's going to be 
three three times minus a two so basically that's five seconds of cooldown if you hit one god if you hit a couple lucky you so hitting the middle is actually incentivized as well just you know 15 percent more just for other assault the second ability is polymorph or called yeah actually it's called polymorph it's a bit of a slow wind up ability but it's really strong i mean it's two seconds of cc and it's not affected by the c ccr which is crowd coron con no what's it called again but you get less cc the CC, the more you get hit by it. I'm sure you guys know, know what I'm talking about. Either way, it will always hit you for two seconds. It's a slow wind up and it's a slow ability, so you have to pre fire it. Which is understandable, thank god, because it's pretty a strong ability. And you can just walk away from somebody, and if they're chasing you, just charge it up, turn around, and polymorph them. It hits once, so one second cooldown. Plus the. These things, if they work out after they nerf her, it will always be two seconds because it's not affected by uh, diminishing returns. That's what it's supposed to be called. Apart from that, we have Divine Shroud, which gives her a shield. It doesn't reflect. It doesn't do anything much. Then gives you speed and a shield. It doesn't scale. It has 300, 550 health, which is a decent amount. 550. It lasts for around three. Five seconds actually, it lasts five seconds, I'm pretty sure. It's a pretty high cooldown. The polymorph it's actually in a pretty low low cooldown. If you max CDR it's actually like eight seconds to nine. So that's pretty strong and I'm pretty sure that you should boost that up. Most of your damage will come from Argus. The Divine Shot also gives Argus a little bit of a buff ish. Let me show you. Of course, the fourth ability will be Argus itself, which knocks you up when you summon him. You can call him back by pressing 4, and then put someone, put him back into a target. As, like so. If you use a 3, it will apply Mystical Mail to him and give him speed. Which hits for 3, 3 times. 3 times a second. It's a lot of damage. I'll show you in a second, after it's done. It was 15 ticks. So, 3 times a tick, that's 5 seconds. And it's pretty high scaling, gotta tell you. How much is uh, It's 2 times 7.5 scaling. Alright, let me, let me show you the thing about the cooldown. So, if I hit, let's say, 2 targets with the bonus damage and the 2 abilities. It wasn't that much, let me see. I mean, I don't have cooldown right now. But as you can see, the cooldown is just lowering, lower, and lower. And I'm, I ba basically already have the ability. But then again, this is gonna be changed. This is a good finding. Any other? Anyways, Argus has an attack chain. You have to make sure he's on the target. He will always be able to find, uh, follow through. As you can see, he will have to stop. As you can show you right here. You have to keep moving. Just activate the three, and he will always be on target and doing his attack chain. You almost feel like he has Fatalis, but he does a lot of damage. People cannot ignore him. That's the whole point of it. And if they do, you're just gonna well on him, and they will eventually die. That's why some people I've seen some games that they build her tanky rather than full damage. I think she's gonna be just like um. Uh, Baron, which is a high distraction, high survivability, and I mean you have a 3000 HP tank going around, kicking your ass, so that's also fun. Let me get my cooldowns here real quick, so I can show you not only the cooldown that you get, but the healing. Alright, here I'm gonna hit a couple people here. Alright, I already have the cooldown. So like I said, every time you hit... When the ability is down, you get cooldown. But when the ability is up, you will get HP for him. Argus, strike now. Go, on, go, on, go on, get hit, Argus. Oh, this is your HP bar, by the way, right here. As you see, he's going down. Right, I'm gonna call him back because I need him with me. Come on, faster. I'm gonna heal him up with the ability. 
Now, if I have Mystical Mail, it will take every second and it will heal him every second. But we're not gonna go over that because we know that's gonna be nerfed. I don't know where Argus is, but as you can see, his health is already basically full. He got stuck over there. Yeah, he's, he's pretty stuck. But right now, you can keep him alive while hitting enemies. And you should be encouraged to. Does it have any scaling? It's a flat 120 at level 20. It's uh, 20 HP. A lot of 20s these days. Uh, plus 5 per level. So that's basically Hera. Now, if you want to build her tanky, build wise, so far it's still Mage's Blessing starting with Soul Reaver. But obviously, since she has no mobility, a tanky build, that's why you don't see Baron in mid all that often because. He's very squishy, just like Zeus. It's just that Zeus doesn't really have a way to get out unless he kills people with him. Either way, just the build upon the situation. Cooldown, breastplate, urchin. It will all depend on the situation. I never like to have one set build because you always have to think about what's gonna happen. You you shouldn't go around with facts like, okay, I, this is the build I'm gonna build every time. No, you should always adapt. I uh, always should encourage you that. Now, com combo wise, you could throw in the knockup into the polymorph, or you could do this throw the polymorph and then the knockup. The polymorph is gonna hit first, so it's at least not as fast as you, you would wish it would, would be. But always stay safe with her and try to work with her range, just like any mage. Getting out of position would most likely kill you. And that's basically Argus's basic abilities. Try to have fun with her. Work with the cooldown. We'll see what the changes are before, you know, anything is solid. We're still on the PTS and we're still figuring it out. And that should be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was your taste I guess and if I ever get a good game on the PTS with her I'll upload it but for now this is all I got for you thank you so much for watching and have a good one guys